tutorial I'm going to show you how to update and modify our source files in Office uh, 2016 uh, for Mac. I'm using a Mac and um, the basics are similar to earlier versions and, but I'm not entirely 100% sure how the Mac version differs from the Windows version. Sorry, I don't have a Windows machine these days. So I can't really uh, do a tutorial on that. But anyway, I hope this will reveal a few of the, the differences. And we will um, also explore some of the details within the files. So as you'll see here, I have downloaded the two files, the Word file and the Excel file. Let's just take a quick look in the Excel file to quickly show you around there and basically you just have to alter what's in cell A2 uh, for the start date and in every case make sure that you've got enough uh, data at the end here it does sort of 54 weeks but occasionally you can um, if, if for instance you set this to a week earlier um, you wouldn't have enough dates in the week to um, fill the whole diary with the full 12 months. You'd be a couple of days short, maybe. So we, I've set it to Monday the 1st of January 2018. And But let me just show you what happens if you, if you change this to 25th. Oops, 25th of the 12th, 2017. Just hitting that, you can see it actually um, updates the whole file. But as you can see, it, it's one day short here. So let's set this back to the first 01 slash, oops, 01, try again. I'll do very well here, am I? 01, 1, 2008. 18. So that's set it all through the correct format and all the rest of it. So once we've done that, we can just simply save and click close. So that's that file there. And we then want to open. I've just chosen a, a fairly sort of standard um, week view because that's got more of the um, things in it um, that we can explore without too much of the confusion of the layout and all that sort of thing. It's got the basic date information and it's split up into days and stuff like that. So we then we need to open all of the file and that, that, that opens up and here we are within Word. And let me just show you around a bit so you can see exactly what we're looking at. Under mailings we we're actually in preview mode at the moment we're only previewing one week so this is just the basic the first week we can actually move to the second third etc sometimes you have to go through i can't remember what week number it is but let's just try uh, oh that didn't work did it um later on into the year because the month names are longer if that makes sense so you know september october november well november i think is most probably the longest uh, month in terms of the length of the word to get a better idea of what it's going to look like if so on some formats um there is a limited space for the month and the year or the d date month and year and sometimes um, you'll get overlap if you've increased the font size for instance It'll look okay in January, but not in November. So there we go. So anyway, we'll go back to January. And here we're looking at um, an actual week view as it would appear on the page. Now, you might be wondering, so, okay, it's all in lowercase. Um, how do I change it? Well, the actual days in this particular one actually come from that Excel file and it's all part of a data field so i'm going to toggle the field here so you can see what's actually behind and i'm going to do the same across here as well 
so you can see the difference between one side of the page and the other now so looking below here you see that there's the date and then the the actual day of the week on this side of the page it's the um, day and then the date and that's just picked up by the the small d is the actual date that the three capital d's are the actual day of the week in full so it goes date day and here it's day date so if you wanted them to be the same you just literally shift that d in front of the capital d with a space into this what looks like a formula i guess as much this is the name of the actual field here date friday lower as you can see forces them all to lower case and so on um, once you've altered the thing um, you just literally toggle it back again going into detail there's lots of other options on these field codes um, I can't remember them all off the top of my head you're best looking for you know do a Google search for a word uh, merge field uh, codes or something like that um, and then that will give you a lot more things like you can shorten them to uh, if you've only got let me just toggle this one for instance this one's four M's and then the year so if you make that three I think it reduces it to Jan um, and two Y's would make it just 18 rather than 2018 and so on and so on so what you can do if you so wish is you can change the fonts um, just by using the usual thing of um, let's say you wanted this particular one in I don't know let's try that one for instance a slightly different font it could help if I selected it first of course um, so if I if you select a different slightly different font so you get you change the font one thing you have got to be careful about when you do change fonts is some fonts are take up more space than others so consequently that the format of the thing will will change slightly and you might have to select a slightly smaller size of font um, rather than um, the one that's pre-existing sort of thing now this one starts off with a, a notes section here you can obviously very simply change the, the title from this week to notes or whatever you want it to be um, and so you could also if you wanted to have that field at the end here by moving these up the page and you hold move, you'd have to move the whole code up now of course when you move Thursday across to here if you did that of course it's going to be the wrong way around compared to the other ones and this is why I just showed you this um, this field code thing so you could actually alter it by moving that D after the capital D with a space and then it would swap it around sort of thing so um, that would sort of take care of that sort of thing so that's just a very very quick run through some of the basics we've got here if you're just wanting to do a different date range compared to what we offer we normally just run January to January of course um, you can just um, open up the Excel file set the start date and obviously I'm making sure it's the same correct day of the week let's say you wanted to start it in um, I don't know let's say for argument's sake off the top of my head um, July um, sort of 2018 onwards so you've got 12 months from July or August or whenever set it to the, the in this particular case the Monday at the beginning of the month or wherever you want it to start and then you'll get 12 months worth from that day onwards so it'll go from one year to the next um, so that's not a problem and then you simply go into mailings here and as I said you can preview the results here so there's all the, that's showing all the actual merge field codes or you actually see what it's going to look like and then to create the the 12 month file you simply um, hit finish and edit individual documents and that then creates 12 months worth of 
this particular file. Now, with this being a week on two pages, if we printed this, this would be the wrong way around because this would be effectively, this first page effectively, if you think about it, is the right hand page. On the reverse side, it's this next page. So all odd pages, effectively right hand pages, all even pages um, are left hand pages. And then, you know, right, left, right, left sort of thing. Left, right, left, right, rather. So to combat that problem, we, we stick our cursor here and then we insert a page break. So that blank page now is going to be our first page we print. And then on the reverse side of that, you will have um, the left hand page followed by the right hand page, etc., all the way through. So you should this should go right through to um, January 2019, which it does. Um, so what we then need to do is the only other thing now is to when you do a mail merge, it actually inserts section breaks after each page. So we need to find and replace in this case. So we find section breaks, which is greater than B and it's found 53 of them. And we click just replace all with nothing. And that just shuffles the margins into the correct thing. So you, then we, if we close this for a second, as you can see now, this this is the where your rings are going to be on the inside of the pages. This being the outside, this is now moved slightly to the outside edge because the actual uh, margins are sort of mirrored. Now, if I reduce the scale a little bit, you get a better idea once it uh, refreshes. So there we go. So you now have a complete um, year in whatever format. Now, if the format or something about the file doesn't work, instead of saving it, you just close it and click on don't save. Go back to your file and then, you know, let's, uh, let's say um, there was something wrong with this or you didn't like the header or something like that. You simply go back to your source file and then just do the merge again. And sure enough, up it pops again with the correct. So you, you then have to put in your um, page break again, do the find and replace. If, if, so if you've ever wondered what Ray and I do each year, this is what we're basically sitting here doing for two or three days of uh, a week or something doing all the different uh, inserts we sort of get a bit sort of uh, stir crazy after a while so <laughs> that creates your new file and let it refresh boom, boom. so you there you have your your 12 months worth so all you then do is just save that and give, give it a new name of course um, give it something sensible 2018 so you know which year it is uh, week view or something I'm saving it on the desktop you can save it wherever you want and then simply save that that's done that and obviously if you want to use reuse this again at some stage you'll save this one as well close that and you can then print this file when you print it, remember to print it in normal order, i.e. starting at the front, working through. Because if you print it in reverse order, there's no blank page. And so, of course, your pages will end up out of sync slightly. Um, how to do that will very much depend on your printer, I'm afraid. Um, there's too many variations to know what it's called. On some printers, it's called um, collation. Um, so it collates the, the pages into the right order. Sometimes it call, calls it normal order, reverse order. Um, you know, it varies depending on the make of the printer, unfortunately. But printing in normal order, if in doubt, um, you know, start at the beginning and print, say, the first four pages and, and see which pages come out. If it's starting at the back, you know, you've got the thing in the wrong order. 
Um, and then if your if your printer doesn't have a duplex, uh, print all the odd pages first, flip them over, feed them back in again in the right order, and then print all the even pages, and you should end up with the, your 12 months. Sounds too easy, I know. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, I hope that's helped. Do um, let me know if you need any um, assistance, and we'll see what.